So in this video, we will learn how to add contacts in active campaign for new Google ad leads. Now suppose guys to market or promote your business, you are running some Google ad campaigns and you want all the new leads which you generate on your Google ads campaign, you want to add those leads as a new contact in active campaign. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new lead in our Google ads account or Google Ads campaign. And the action will be adding those same leads as a new contact in active campaign. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Ads to Active Campaign. And then just click on Create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens. And the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details of the new lead which we are getting in our Google Ads inside Pavli Connect. So what we are going to do in our Google Ads account, we have created a new lead entry form. So we are going to connect that Google lead ad form with Pavli Connect. And then whatever new leads which we are generating from that form, we are going to get those leads details inside our Pavli Connect workflow. And after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to send those new lead details to active campaigns so that we can add those new leads in our active campaign account. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for Google ads, select Google ads. And then in trigger event from the dropdown, select new lead form entry as the trigger event. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our new lead form which we have created in our Google Ads account with Pavli Connect. How you can do that? Just follow the help text given below over here. So we are just going to copy this webhook URL from here. And after that, go to your Google Ads account. After reaching to your Google Ads account, on the left side, here you can see different options, out of which there is an option named as Ads and Assets. Click on this and click on Assets under it. After this, just click on this plus button and here you can see that in this dropdown, you have an option of Lead Form. Just click on it. After clicking on Lead Form, guys, here you can see that from here, you can actually create a new Lead Form in your Google Ads account or you can use the existing one. So if you want to create a new lead form, it is very simple. You must be familiar with this. Enter the headline, business name, description. Select the questions which you want to ask from your users, from your leads in this Google ad form. And after that, enter other details for this. After creating your form, guys, to connect it with Pavli Connect using the webhook URL, you just have to scroll down and you have to come to this option of export leads from Google Ads. Click on this and under this, click on other data integration option. And here guys, you can see webhook integrations option. So here you just have to paste the same webhook URL, which you have copied from Pavli Connect. And you also have to enter a key. So here guys, in this way, you can connect your Google lead ad form with Pavli Connect. For right now in this video, I'm not, ju not just going to create a new form. I'm going to use a existing form. So here guys, we'll close this window. And then here you can see that travel booking form is a, it is a form which I have already created. So in this form, I'm just uh, having a travel agency, for example, and I am running some Google ad campaigns for my business. And in this form, I'm asking the users four basic things, full name, email, phone number, and city. So after creating your form, just enter all the details and come to this other data integration options, scroll down. And here in webhook URL section, guys, we just have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pavli Connect. After this, guys, we just have to enter a key. So we are going to enter the key as well. Now, guys, when we click on this, when we enter all of these details, we have an option of send test data. And when we click on this send test data button, automatically from Google Ads, the details of a test lead, a dummy lead is being sent on this webhook URL. This means when we click on send test data, the details of a test lead will be captured inside our Pavli Connect workflow. Now guys, we are going to set up the detail, this automation workflow using this test leads 
because right now on my Google Ads account, we don't have any active running campaign. So that is why guys, what we are going to do, we are going to use the response of test lead. But if you have any running campaign on your Google Ads account and you are actually getting some new leads on a regular basis using your Google lead form, you can actually capture the data of those new leads as well. So right now I'm not having any running campaign, active campaign on my Google Ads account. So I'm just going to click on the send test button and then it is showing us test data set sent successfully. So after this guys, let's get back to Public Connect and yes. Here in our public connect workflow, you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, we can see some test details. So we have asked four questions from the user in this form. That was name, email, phone number, and city. And we have received a test response for all those four columns, four fields. We have a random name, a test name of city, a test email address, a test mobile number of a user, and also a test name. So we have the first name as well as the last name in the single response. Now this means guys, the lead ad form, lead entry form, which we have created in Google ads, we have received the test response of that form. And this is because we don't have any running campaign on a Google ads account. That is why we are using test response. Now let's move to step two guys. And in step two, we have to enter or we have to send this new lead details, which we have received from Google ads to active campaign. For that, just scroll down. And here guys, in this action step in choose app, we have to search for active campaign, select active campaign, and then an action event from the dropdown, select create or update contact as the action event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now guys, we have to connect our active campaign account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, it is asking us two basic things. First one is the API key of our active campaign account. And second one is the URL. Now here guys, how you can get the API key and URL of your active campaign account. To get this guys, just go to the dashboard of your active campaign account and on the left side, you can see settings options over here. Just click on settings. After coming to the settings page, click on developer. And here guys, you will see the URL and the API key of your own active campaign account. From here guys, you just have to copy this URL till this, after this, after double slash HTTPS colon double slash, you have to copy this URL from here and then paste it over here. Then get back to active campaign, copy your API key and then paste the API key as well. And after pasting it, you can also refer to the help text given below over here for instructions for help and then just click on save. After clicking on save, we can see that our active campaign accounts gets connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the email address. That what is the email address of the new contact which we want to create. So from our Google ad responses of a test lead, we have received the test email address of a user of a new lead. So we are going to map the same response of email address over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from Google ad responses, select the response of email address and it will be mapped. Then after this guys here in active campaign, it is asking us for the first name and the last name as two different fields in two different fields. But from Google ads, we have collectively received a full name response. We have the full name response response for the full name of the user. We have the first name and the last name. So what we have to do, we have to basically split this full name into two parts of first name and last name and how you can do that. So we are going to use a feature of public connect that is text formatter and using text formatter, we are going to split this full name into two responses of first name and last name. Now to add is just scroll down and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, search for text formatter, select text formatter. And then in action event from the drop down, select split text as the action event, click on connect. Then it is asking us text to split that what is the text? What is the response in which you want to split the text? So we want to split this text of response of name of the new lead. So we are going to map this response of name over here and just click here from the drop down from Google ad responses, select the response of name and it will be mapped. Then it is asking us for the separator. So separator will be the space between the first name and the last name. We want to split the text before and after the space which we have. So we are going to use space as a separator and we write space as a separator in this way in double curly braces. Then it is asking us for the segment index. So from the drop down, select all and click on save and send test request. 
After clicking on Save and Send Test Request, here you can see that in response which we have received, we have a separate response of first name and last name. So using text formatter, we have separated this response of full name into two responses of first name and last name. And from here guys, one by one, we are going to map these responses in these two fields. But because we have added a new data, a new step before this step, just click on this connected button, select existing connection and click on save. We have to just reconnect our active campaign account with public connect because we have introduced some new data before this step. After doing this, here in first name, just click here and from the drop down from the responses of text formatter, select the response of first name and map it. And do the same process for last name as well. Just click here and from the drop down from the text formatter responses, select the response of last name. Then it is asking us for the phone number. So just click here and from Google Ads, we have received the test phone number of the test lead. Just select it and map it over here. Then it is asking us tag ID. So we don't want to give any tag. So I'm just ignoring this field for now. But if you have created some kind of tags in your active campaign account, from this drop down, you can actually select the tag. Then it is asking us for the list that in which list in our active campaign account, we want to add this contact. So right now I have only one list named as master contact list. So I want to add the contact in this particular list. But if you want to add these contacts, these leads from Google ads into some particular list from the drop down, you can select that list as well. And at last it is asking us for the account ID. So I don't have any account ID as well. So I'm just ignoring it for now. And then just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the response. And in this response, we can see this is a positive response. This response shows that the data which we have mapped, basically the details of a new lead which we have received from Google Ads is been added. The same new lead is been added as a new contact in our active campaign account. So let's check it. We will go to our active campaign account. We'll go to contacts page. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same user, the same first name, last name, same email and the same mobile number of a test lead which we have received from Google Ads has been added as a new contact in our active campaign account. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And now using this automation, whenever we are going to get a new lead in Google Ads, whenever we are going to receive a new lead form entry in Google Ads, automatically that lead will be added as a new contact in our active campaign account. So guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account. And also let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment out your suggestions and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.